Hi, this is Anne of Anne Was Here, and today I'm going to show you how I use Photo Merge in Photoshop and Levels in Photoshop to scan in and um, color adjust correct my artwork. Um, so if you're like me, your, f your scanner bed is actually smaller than most of the artwork that you create. So you end up having to scan your art in in separate pieces and somehow stitch them together in Photoshop. And that can be a painstaking, time-taking process. Um, well, if you use Photo Merge in Photoshop, it does all of the work for you. What I have here are scans of some artwork that I did that I couldn't fit the entire thing on my photo bed. So I had to scan it in four pieces and there's a lot of overlap from piece to piece. So all I need to do is have those saved on my computer and then I open up Photoshop, go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. And this pops up. It's, the layout is automatically set to auto, which is fine. Click Browse and select all of the photos, or the scans, I'm sorry. You want to make sure that your scans are all at the same resolution and the same size. That's important. And then once you have them all there, you can hit OK. And you can watch as Photoshop does its magic. And there, Photoshop has stitched my four separate images together perfectly. As you can see, it's seamless. I can't even tell where the stitching has happened. The only way you can tell is over here. It keeps them in separate layers, and you can see it's masked out um, the duplicate areas on each um, separate scan. So I usually merge those together because it looks good, and then I crop out the um, crop it tight so that the background is all the same and there's no um, none of the clear area is showing. I'm gonna rotate because it uh, scanned it in upside down. And then scanning often um, doesn't scan at bright white or sometimes some areas will be white and others will be shaded and so a quick fix that I do that works great for painting um, is I adjust my levels so I go to um, image adjustment and levels and I click on the white eyedropper and find the darkest area and this is all pretty much the same but you just click on it with the white eyedropper and you can see it really quickly brings that to bright white now that's a permanent you know, you can't, you can undo and do, but once you move on, you can't go back and adjust it. Another way to do it, if I quickly undo, I'm going to Command Z and undo what I just did, is to add an adjustment layer, clicking here and doing levels. And then that way, it's the adjustment is is there and you can change it as much as you want later. And so it's the same idea. You add the adjustment layer of levels and click on the white eyedropper and click on the darkest background area and it brings it to bright white. And this way you have a, it as a layer that you can turn on and off so you can go back to the original or you could adjust it if you felt like you overexposed it. You could go back in oops, to your levels and play around with them. So that's like a really quick way that you can scan in your art stitch it together and bring it to you know bright white which works great for watercolors and this is actually gouache that so works great for that too i hope this was helpful to you thanks so much